What's going on guys? So I just wanted to show you how to make Anki cards based on a video that you watched. Um, right now we're going to be using a Pixarize sketch on Marfan syndrome. And you can do this with sketchy videos and you could also do this for just any type of video, but I like to do it after watching some sort of visual mnemonic uh, because it really helps everything stick. Uh, so if you see right here, Pixarize has a bunch of hot spots that you can click, which are really just the main uh, points that you want to know. And it's extremely important when you're also making your flashcards that you don't uh, make put too many details in your cards. So um, just having some high yield spots is actually really helpful. That's already done for you. But if you're making cards for something else, I recommend you trying to work on, uh, you know, figuring out which information is most important that you need to remember because you can make flashcards forever and you'll end up with like 50,000 flashcards if you just try to put in every single piece of information. That's not the point of what we want with our Anki cards. Um, we want to be really just focusing in on exactly what we need to know that's going to help us understand different clinical presentations, diseases, um, or whatever whatever else you're studying. So for this uh, sketch, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command Shift 2, and I have that set up as a shortcut in my computer so that it's going to, instead of um, taking just a screenshot uh, to my desktop, that just took a screenshot and is now like stored in my clipboard. So then I could go over here to my card and post uh, paste it right here um, and as you can see there that's the entire sketch now with more about this topic and also these are custom cards so this is based off of like um, the pepper sketchy farm deck these are the type of cards that I'm using um, but if you know Anki um, or even if you haven't Anki has a, a lot of different card types that you could use just normal flash cards or um, closed form and a bunch of other uh, options. So we'll go. We can go into that in a different video. But for this one, I just have this custom card here, just so you know if you haven't ever seen this before. And then basically, I'm going to look for Marfan syndrome, right, which I already had pulled up. Now I'm going to go to first aid. I'm going to take a screenshot of, you know, let's get this whole thing, the section where Marfan syndrome is, and just because if while I'm doing the card, if I want to have some extra information. Um, it's always nice to have like the first aid section. So I'm going to paste that here where it says more about this topic. And then I'm going to start making questions. Um, so the first one that we're going to do, let's see, I, I want to talk about like the inheritance pattern. So it's autosomal dominant, which is represented by this big ass truck here. Um, so we're going to screenshot that. Paste. And the, in, the chromosome, uh, we want to get the chromosome, which is chromosome 15, which is represented by uh, the quinceanera dress. So we'll get that. And so you see I group, I'm grouping these two into one card because they kind of go together, the inheritance pattern as well as what chromosome it's on. So I'm going to put those two pictures here where it says extra. And then I'm going to go, um, what is the inheritance pattern? of Marfan syndrome and what chromosome is mutated. And then I'll type in the answer, autosomal dominant and um, what do we say? chromosome 15. Awesome, so that's one card. Now the good thing about this custom thing is I don't have to keep uh, clicking add and then making new cards because I make them all for one sketch right here and then at the end I'm going to press add. So the next thing is um, let's do the fact that it's Marfanoid habitus. Um, I'm just trying to think of, we'll, we'll make that its own card. Actually, you know what? So we're going to group like some of the clinical symptoms together. So we're going to put um, Marfanoid habitus as one thing. The fact that there's mitral valve prolapse as another. Um, upward lens dislocation. Uh, the reason this is important is it because I believe, um, and don't quote me on this, in homocysteinuria, it prevents, uh, presents similarly with um, downward lens dislocation, but you, there's also like a Marfanoid habitus um, looking presentation if you have that. So uh, that's why that's a high yield fact to know with Marfan, Marfan syndrome. 
And then the last one is going to be for clinical presentation aortic dissection. And you don't really want to go try if um, if you're pushing more than like four clinical symptoms at a time, you want to try and break it up. So let's say I could have broken this up into like which were the two uh, cardiac uh, clinical presentations on or yeah for Marfan syndrome as opposed to uh, the other two, um, but. You know, just four I think is fine, but if we start to get into like where there's five or six high yield uh, symptoms, it's it's nice to break it up because then you're kind of putting too many f details on one on one card. I think that just represented Marfan syndrome. Yeah, so this is Marfan syndrome, which is the Mars fan, right? So they have cool little mnemonics here. Um, so this should be another card, the fact that it's a fibrillin 1 mu mutation. So we're going to say... Oh, that should go, that's not there in extra three. And what um, gene is mutated? One, one. Awesome. And did we leave anything out? Chromosome 15, upper, yep. Yep, I think that's it. So then what we would do is come down here. I'm making sure to have this tagging correct. Um, I'll probably release this deck eventually when I finish it all. So if you're uh, using Pixarize by then, you'll be able to just use these cards. Uh, but it's always good to learn how to make your own. And that would be it. So then we'd click Add. And that's it. Now it's in my deck. And if I X out of here and I go to Study Now, we see we have these cards. Oh, this one's from uh, prior. Let's see if we could do it. Inheritance pattern and chromosome mutation in NF2. So autosomal dominant and uh, which chromosome? Oh, it's chromosome 22. And I remember that because of the pink tutu that is on the girl in the picture. Oh, look, I have a mistake in this. It's supposed to say um, chromosome 22, not NF2. But we got that one right. All right, awesome. So good. And non-tumor associated symptom. Uh, sorry, there's, this one's also for NF2. We'll get to the Marfan cards in just a sec. Non-tumor associated symptom of NF2. So this was a good example of how I actually broke it up because there were three tumors associated with um, NF2 and then one symptom that wasn't a tumor. And it was the fact that, uh, let me think, you have the girl with the glasses, which is representing glaucoma, I believe. No, cataracts, cataracts. Awesome. And if you see here in this picture, you have the girl with the glasses. And then here we go. Here are the cards we just did. What is the inheritance pattern of Marfan syndrome and what chromosome is mutated? And the answer to that, as we all should know by now, is that it is autosomal dominant and it is chromosome 15, which is denoted by the Quintanera address. Yeah, so we'll call it there. And I hope that helped you kind of see how I make my cards and how you can do it as well. And also it was a nice little plug for Pixarize, which have really good uh, short videos that talk about a lot of the genetic and biochem uh, diseases. So definitely check the, them out if you get a chance. And hope that this was helpful, guys. Talk to you soon.